Hi guys, welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, ang sagutan naman natin is yung 2019 Metro Bank Math Challenge Division or else for grade 3. So mga lo, di ba basahin ko sa inyo yung mga tanong and I mean, ang sasagutan natin is yung average and the difficult questions para maturo ko sa inyo yung approach when dealing with the time pressured problems like 30 or 60 seconds mga lodi. So babasahin ko yung mga tanong or pwede ko naman siyang isend sa inyo or i-type ko na lang sa comment section para makita niyo yung mismong mga tanong ng 2019 Math Challenge Orals natin. So this is in preparation for the upcoming uh, Division Orals this February 6. So good luck mga lodi sa mga coaches natin. Just keep on training. Train hard, win easy. Train easy, win hard. So favorite naman natin coach yan. Alam ko kaya-kaya niyan. Okay, simulan natin. Average number 1. The ratio of two numbers is 3 to 7. If the smaller number is 12, what is their sum? So, binigay mga Lodi yung smaller 12. Yung ratio nila 3 to 7. Ang first nating pwedeng ituro dun sa mga bata is kunin yung isang number that is using ratio and proportion. So, since 12 yung smaller, ang katapat niya 3, that is 12 divided by 3. So, that is equal to 4. 4 times 7, that is 28. Then add them all, yung mga nakuha nating number, 12 plus 28, therefore the correct answer is 40. O kaya naman, ang pwedeng approach, hinahanap yung sum. Pwede natin gawin, i-add na natin to, 3 plus 7, that is 10. Then ang gawin natin, 12 divide 3, that's 4. 4 times 10, that is their sum, that is equivalent to 40. So, any approach will do mga Lodi for as long na alam natin parehas. Or at least alam natin yung isa. Kasi ngayon yung ituturo natin sa mga mathletes natin. O kaya dun sa mga grade 3 na nanonood din ng videos natin. So, good luck sa inyo mga mathletes. Alam ko kaya kaya nyo yan. Just focus. Okay, number 2. Lisa earned 4,400 pesos in one week. So, si Lisa, si Lisa daw earned 4,400 pesos in one week. She gives her mother two-thirds of this amount and spends one-fourth of the money to clothes. How much money is left? So, yung two-thirds daw, binigay niya sa mother niya. Tapos, yung natira, ang in-spend niya dun sa clothes is one-fourth of the remaining. So, how do we do this, mga lodi? So, paano daw ang hinahanap? How much money is left? So, ganito ang pwede natin ituro sa mga mathletes. Okay, two-thirds yung binigay mo sa mother mo. What happens is that, so step by step tayo. Ha? So, time pressured, okay, two-thirds yung binigay mo sa mother mo. Therefore, ilan na lang yung natira sa inyo, kids at saka coaches? Tama, that's one-third. So, one-third na yung natira sa kanya, remaining. Okay, after na ano ha, na binigay niya sa mother niya. Pero, ang ginamit niya sa clothes is one-fourth. Therefore, kung one-fourth yung ginamit niya sa clothes, ilan yung natira sa kanya? So, that is three-fourths nung pinaka-remaining natin. So, meron tayong three-fourths na natira dun sa clothes natin. So, what we will do now? Diyan, Sir IG, ano na ba yung gagawin natin dyan? So, imumultiply lang natin to mga Lodi kasi ito yung magiging pinaka-final na matitira sa kanya. So, that is cancel nito. That is one-fourth. Magkano yung pera niya? 4,400 pesos originally. So, kapag kinumpit natin, divide by 4, kitang-kita naman, the correct answer is 1,100 pesos. Ulitin ko, 2 thirds binigay sa nanay, 1 third natira. Yung after nun, 1 fourth in spend sa clothes, therefore 3 fourths nun yung natira. 3 fourths ng 1 third, kaya multiply. Therefore, 4,400 yung tamang sagot. Okay? Next, number 3. Okay, proceed tayo sa number 3 mga Lodi. So for problem number 3, ito. The cost of 10 kilograms of rice, number 3. Yung 10 kilograms of rice daw costs 475 pesos. Okay, ang question, how much is 3 and 1 half kilograms of rice to the nearest tens? So that is 3 and 1 half or that is 3.5 kilograms to the nearest tens. So, ano gagawin natin dito? So, from that, pwede naman natin ituro sa kanila na, okay, 10 kilograms, that is around, um, uh, i-divide natin sa 10 yung 475. So, 475 divided by 10, so that is 47.5. So, 
So, ibig sabihin, 47 pesos and 50 centavos for every kilo. Pero, ang yung sinabi? Uh, 3.5, di ba? So, that is uh, 3.5 uh, kilograms. Magkano daw siya? So, we have to multiply it by 3.5. So, ang problema kasi dito, mga teachers, tsaka dun sa mga coaches natin, is may hirapan silang mamultiply ng 30 seconds. So, what I suggest is, di ba yung 3.5, 3 and a half, pwede mo siyang gawin na 7 halves. Kasi, mas mabilis sila magmultiply, tas saka nalang magdivide by 2. Kasi kung ganito yung gagawin mo, much easier and I think much, ano, in terms of time limit, ha. Although yun yung naiisip ko lang, pero depende pa rin naman. So, this is 5, this is 2, this is 5, 4 times 5, 33. So, that is 332.5. Then, divide by 2, final step natin. So, what will be our answer? So, that is um, 1, 6, 7, 7. Twenty-five. Pero anong ilahanap mga low dito the nearest tens? Therefore, the final answer will be 170 pesos. So, ganun lang siya. So, normal ratio in proportion lang siya sa mga gates natin dyan. So, kailangan lang natin yan, no, i, uh, ituro sa kanila yung tamang approach. Okay? Next, number four. Mary has 60 bundles of flowers. She wants to place them in boxes. If each box contains a dozen, so, dapat ituro natin sa mga kids na ang ibig sabihin ng dozen ay 12. So, 1 dozen is equal to 12 uh, flowers. Bundles pala. Okay? So, anong hinahanap? How many boxes are needed? Ulitin ko ah, Mary has 60 bundles of flowers. She wants to place them in boxes if each box contains a dozen. So, ang gagawin lang natin, how many boxes? So, 60 divided by 12. So, that is equal to 5 boxes. That is now our final answer. Just uh, reiterate to them na ang 1 dozen is equal to 12 uh, pieces. Okay, last problem for the average round. Okay, number 5. So, for number 5, one number is two-thirds of another number. If the larger number is 30, what is their sum? So, ito, madali lang. So, yung larger daw, 30. Yung one number, two-thirds nung isa. Therefore, kung larger natin yung 30, two-thirds nun, yun yung smaller number. So, yung smaller number natin will be equal to two-thirds ng 30. So, that is 30 divided by 3, that's 10. 10 times 2, that is 20. 20 plus 30 kasi sum yung inahanap mga lodi. So, the correct answer will be 50. Okay? Proceed tayo sa difficult round questions which are good for 60 seconds or 1 minute. Number 1. Okay? Analyze natin ha. Isang beses ko lang babasahin. The weight of a basket containing 8 pieces of pomelo is 7 kilograms. A basket without pomelo weighs 600 grams. So, basket, yung weight ng basket mga lodi without any pomelo that is 600 grams. Question, how many grams is each pomelo if they have the same weight? So, ang pinaka-critical dito mga coaches is yung conversion. How many grams are there in 1 kilogram? Alam natin na ang 1 kilogram is 1,000 grams. So, what we can do is, ayun nga, i-multiply natin to by 1,000. Therefore, this is 7,000 grams. But, ina sinabi na ang basket na walang pomelo is 600 lang. So, i-minus natin yan. 7,000 minus 600, that is 6,400 grams. Eh, ilan ba yung pomelo natin mga lodi? 8. So, di-divide natin by 8 para malaman yung weigh ng kada melon, ng pomelo, sorry. Therefore, the correct answer is 800 grams per pomelo. Okay, ganun lang siya, ha? Conversion, critical mga chairs and mga mathletes. Okay, pro proceed tayo sa problem number 2. Problem number 2. Maria bought a blouse that was originally 420 pesos. 
So, bumili daw siya ng blouse that was originally 420 pesos. It was sold at a price that was two-thirds than its original price. So, what you can do is, get na, kunin nyo na agad yung two-thirds. Although, wag kayo mag-alala kids and coaches kasi yung questions will be provided to our mathletes. So, may kita talaga nila yan. So, pwede agad nilang gawin, kunin nila yung two-thirds ng 420 pesos. So, that is equal to 420 divide 3, 140 times 2, that is 280 pesos. Okay? So, ano na mangyayari? If she gave dalaw if she gave two 200 peso bills, so, alam natin na ang dalawang 200 peso bill, that is around 400 pesos. Anong inahanap natin? Is yung change, i-minus lang natin yan. So, that is 400 minus 280 that is 120 pesos. So, yun yung magiging final answer natin. Okay? Diba? Sobrang dali lang niya. Number 3, just focus lang. Kinakabahan na yung mga kids natin. Number 3, Teresa cuts a string into 8 pieces of different lengths. The shortest piece is 20 centimeters. So, yung shortest daw natin, 20 centimeters. And the longest piece is 90 centimeters. Okay, tapos, Teresa cuts 8 pieces, di ba? 8 pieces. If the length of the strings differ by 20 centimeters in length, how was the, how long was the original string? So, kakao lang mga Lodi, itong problem na to, medyo ano siya, ang tawag mo dito, uh, medyo may, I mean, may mali. Kasi nga, dapat, ang difference nito should be uh, 10 centimeters. Bakit? Kasi kung titingnan nyo dun sa problem, kapag 20 centimeters yung difference nila, it follows na dapat, ano siya, multiple lang siya ng 20. Eh, 90 nga yung longest piece eh. So, we have to change it mga Lodi. Dapat, 10 centimeters lang yung difference in length. So, anong gagawin ng mga bata natin dyan? So, pwede nilang ilista, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Then, i-add nilang lahat. So, pag in-add nilang lahat, yan, ang lalabas ay 440 centimeters. So, ito yung isang paraan, although may mas mabilis na paraan. So, pwedeng gawin natin, since 8 pieces sila, even naman yun, pwede natin itong i-add. So, that is the sum of every pair. Parang 20, 90, 30, 80, 40, 70, 50, 60. So, pwede natin gawin, 20 plus 90, this is 110 for every pair. But we have 4 pairs since we have 8 pieces. So, that is times 4. Kaya naging 440 cm yung sagot. So, pare, uh, tandaan may mali po sa question. That should be 10 centimeters, ha? Yung difference. Okay? Down to our last 2 questions, mga Lodi. Okay, number 4. What is the largest 2-digit number that gives 7 as a remainder when divided by 95? So, yung remainder daw is 7 kapag dinivide by 8. Divided by 8. Largest 2-digit number. So, ganito lang yan. Pwede, gawin, pwede natin ituro sa mga bata. Start ka with 99. You can start with 99. So, pwede mong gawin 99 divided by 8. So, makukuha niya 1, 8, 1, 9, 2. Tapos, this is um, 16. So, this is remainder 3. So, kung remainder 3 siya, so, hindi na pwede yung 98, 97. Eh, yung 96, alam naman nila na divisible yun. So, pwede nilang gawin, try nila ma- Magsimula sa below 96. So, try natin yung 95 divided by 8. 1, 8, 15, 1, 8, 7. Therefore, the correct answer is 95. So, ganun lang siya gawin. So, start ka with uh, yung pinakamalaking multiple ni 8 with uh, na malapit sa 100. That is 96. Since 7 yung remainder, magbawas ka lang ng isa. Kaya magiging sagot natin ay 95. So, kailangan talaga hasain natin yung mga estudyante, yung mathletes natin. When, when, comes, when it comes to this type of problems. Number five, three boys and three girls went to watch a stage play. 
the total cost of the six tickets was 600 pesos. After paying their tickets, each of the boys pay half of the girl's ticket. How much paid? How much was paid by each girl? Okay, ulitin natin mga lodi ah. Three boys. So we have three boys and three girls. Went to watch a stage play. The total cost of the six tickets was 600. After paying their tickets, each of the boy pay each of the boys pay half of the girl's ticket. How much was paid by each girl? So, ano mangyari dito mga lodi? So, ibig sabihin niyan, so gawa ka ng uh, magkano yung binayaran nila? 600 pesos. So, yung kada boy daw, pay half of the ticket of the uh, girl. So, pwede mong gawin. Let's say, alam natin na tigo 100 sila in the first place. So, yun yung una nating assumption. 100 sila. Pero, ang mali kasi doon mga lodi, binigay na dapat kada girl, I mean, kada boy will pay half of the girl's ticket. So, anong mangyari dyan? Ibig sabihin, kunyari, ito yung mga girls natin. Ito yung boys natin. So, what will happen is, normally, 100 sila, yung tigkakalahati nito, mapupunta dun sa mga boys natin. So, magiging, uh, Ilan to? 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. Anong kalahati ng 100? So, that's 50. So, 100 plus 50, 150, 150, 150, eto 50, eto 50, eto 50. Therefore, ang binayaran ng kada girl ay 50 pesos. So, ganun lang siya. Turo nyo muna sa mga students natin na okay, anim sila. So, pwedeng tigaw 100. Pero kalahati ng boys... Kalahati nung bayad sa girls, binayaran na ng boys. So, kunin yung kalahati nun, edi eh natira na lang, 50. That is just as simple as that. Di ba mga chairs? Okay, just in case meron kayong questions or clarifications, huwag kayong maya magtanong mga lodi or mag-comment. Maraming salamat po sa, sa, sa pag-subscribe. And I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye mga lodi. See you sa next tutorial natin.